another one of your most impressive victories was the second fight with Dan Henderson. Because you got hit with some fucking oh, yeah. bombs in that fight, but you refused to go out. Yeah. You you refused to be stopped in that fight. Yeah, you know, I mean... That was a that was a display of willpower in a lot of ways because I remember watching those those big shots from Henderson land and I mean the, the, they were on the edge. I mean you were on the edge going out. Oh I mean, for sure, absolutely. I mean I remember he hit me. I went down. He was swarming on me, hit me with some elbows. But I remember I was always fine. But I was like, holy shit! You know that was what hit me there. And then I managed to get myself back to my feet and I had blood pouring out of my face and whatnot. Of course, second round, same thing happened. And he had two big moments in the fight, two right. big shots, but they were big moments. But you don't win a 25-minute fight by landing two shots, you yeah. know, but they were big shots, fair play to him. But, uh, you know, I, I, I refused to quit there because, you know, obviously going into that fight, I talked a bit of shit, like always. Yeah. Um, and you can lie to everybody. You can lie to the media, you can lie to the press, you can lie to your family, lie to your coaches. Well, it's not necessarily lies, but you can who's bravado and this and that but you can't lie to yourself you know when you're laid in bed at night and your head's on the cushion you know you can't bullshit yourself you know and day of the fight because the fight was at six in the morning day of the fight i'm led on my bed trying to just have a nap because it was going to be a long night obviously and uh i couldn't sleep and all i was thinking human nature last time i stepped into an octagon with this guy i was fucking out cold for a long time my brain was scrambled eggs for a long time after that fight and uh as i say you can lie to everybody else but now the fight was getting close and it's in my hometown and it's my first title defense and all this i'm like shit shit i know i'm better than this guy but fuck last time last time didn't end well so uh, i was uh getting a little worked up and i remember i was at the arena and i was kind of you know being a little edgy a little snappy with people and there's no need for it and then i just stopped i went i started laughing and prilla said what's what are you laughing at i said well what's the worst that's gonna happen if i lose what's the worst i'm gonna lose a fight it's happened before so why am i stressing myself out over it and i just started laughing and after that i was fine but uh yeah yeah no it was uh <laughs> i definitely uh, had a sore face the next day after that one for sure yeah but you, you know, you got through the fire. Yeah. No, I did. And I felt great. The only problem was in the fifth round, because this cheekbone had swollen. It was on my good side. He shattered the cheekbone on, on my good side. And uh, it swelled up so much. I could hardly see out of that eye. <laughs> this eye's fucked as well. So in the fifth round, I'm like, trying to like get a certain angle where I could even see the guy. Do you know what I mean? It was, it, 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 it was a nightmare, you know, Jesus but uh, yeah, got the job done, fortunately. Is there anything that like is on the horizon in terms of like medical science that you're looking at in terms of being able to fix your eyes? Uh, not that I know of. I spoke to doctors about it, you know, because I, I, I was, uh, yeah, I was always curious what, 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 uh, what could be done, but I don't think in my lifetime there is. But the reason I retired was the Gastelum fight because I was cleared to fight and the doctors were always like, we don't really advise it, but you are cleared. You've passed the test just by the skin of your teeth. And for me, that was all well and good. You got to do your medical. The most stressful part of all of that was when you, you got to go do a full training camp now, then fly somewhere and you're going to see another doctor, a commission doctor at the weigh-in, Right. And you don't know what this doctor's going to be like. You don't know if he knows anything about eyes. You don't know if he wants to be a hero. You don't know if he wants to make fucking press, the guy that pulled the main event. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Very, very stressful time. So for me, the fight was always the easy part. The hard part was just fucking making it to the octagon. And I go to the weigh-ins and I get cleared. I was like, Ugh! The feeling was like, okay, we're good. The fight's on. Because I didn't know the fight was on until wow. I got past the commission doctor. How many different fights did you have to go through like that? About, I think it was about 12, something like 12 that. 12 fights with eye I'm not sure if it's 12, something like that. Hold on. Belcher, Kung Lee. No, Belcher, Tim Kennedy, Kung Lee, Rockhold, CB, Talis Lattis, Anderson Silva, Luke Rockhold, Dan Henderson, GSP, uh, Gastelum. 11, 11, 11 fights. yeah. 